Fuck you, Silva. <laughs> oh yeah, we have to. <clears throat> we have to explain. Yeah, yeah we gotta. I, I I got my explanation. Okay, okay. Uh, Silva's a no good dirty rat. <laughs> no good dirty rat. You know, good duck. You, you never, never be shit. shit. You're just, just like, like your, your father. father. Mm-hmm. All right. Hello, everybody, and <laughs> welcome back to another episode of the Punch a Chewy podcast. I'm Eric Hell. She's Isabella. Hello. And we're here to freaking party. Hell yeah. Yes. Uh, another week. Um, a lot of news. Today yeah. and yesterday. We uh, Today we just got... Uh, so we're recording late, so just so you know. Yeah. But we just... Uh, just today, the Avatar uh, Netflix show trailer dropped Mm -hmm. i don't know why i said that's so stupid but the trailer for the avatar show dropped today yes there we go you have to drop the name brand yeah yeah well what what what, 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 selling out selling what a a netflix show (laughs) 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 fucking a dude (laughs) Uh, anyway the trailer dropped today the bad batch trailer dropped yesterday Mm mm-hmm um we're being fed yeah good food february is gonna be lit bro i didn't i didn't know all these shows were coming out next month i don't think they knew because true we like that that's the only thing i'm like i'm so excited but like i wish we didn't get trailers and dates dropped like a month before a show came out honestly i kind of prefer it really honestly yeah okay my best my favorite experience has been like tales of the jedi because they announced that shit and it was like two months so you didn't have to wait i didn't have to wait because that's what i hate is the wait see it rhymes um no i'm the opposite i'm like i need a i need a reason to live i need so when you don't tell me there's going to be star wars for six months you know okay but i hate like (laughs) like with the fucking okay like with the fucking um Let's say the the Knights of the Old Republic remake that is now technically up in the air slash canceled slash who knows what the fuck. Mm-hmm. Right? Um, they announced that shit and they were like 2025. It was like 2021 when they announced that. Yeah. And I was like, that's cool. Now I have to wait six years. What the fuck? OK, like, yeah, that is too much. I, I, mean. I think that is too much. But I think a show you only knowing for a month is an, I don't think that's enough like time. No, that to okay. That's fine if you feel that way. But personally to me, I mean, I get more hyped because okay. I'm like, oh shit. Like it's, it's almost, almost here. here. Okay. Like like I can be excited and then my excitement will subside like it will stay until the show comes out. So you, you know can I mean? sustain your excitement. Yeah, if exactly. that's a it kind of dies with the weight, honestly. Ex- exactly. Like, it, Cuz it's it'll, too long then it's like Oh, the game came out. Once yeah. it finally does, and you don't even... You're like, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. I guess that's it's why, probably look, more of like an attention span thing that's at this why, point. That's why I, I don't... Just, I think it's just because we have ADHD. So yeah. yeah. Probably. probably. <laughs> we need one. Out of, <laughs> out of sight, out of mind, literally. Yeah. If you're yeah. not seeing it, it's not No, fuck not that. Happening. That's why... That What was it that uh, you guys were like, you haven't watched the fucking trailer? Um, what was mm. it? It was something. that ju- It just happened where I was like, no, I haven't watched anything... I, I'm just staying away from it. I, don't <gasps> what was it. I know what you're talking about, but I don't remember what show it was. Anyway, that that's that's how I work because mm-hmm. I'm like, I don't want to watch the trailer because <laughs> the fucking show is coming out in two years. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't want to watch the teaser. I don't want to get excited. I want to yeah. get hyped because I'm going to get I, hyped. I don't need a trailer, but I do need a date. So I would be fine, fine yeah. getting a date like in six months. Bad Batch is premiering. Look, I that's fine with yeah, me, but yeah. I want to know when it's coming out. Yeah, yeah. That that is that I agree is a big. I deal. don't want Bad Batch next year, and then I, I hate when shit's in summer twenty twenty four or summer. Yeah, it's like, like super. Oh yeah, ambiguous. Like, Tell me the fucking month, asshole. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Like like with fucking uh, Star Wars Unlimited. Mm-hmm. Like that. Yeah, I've been, I've been kind of I mean now we're much closer. It's in like two months. Yeah, but the whole wait. I mean we've been talking about that game <laughs> like since we pretty much started the podcast. Which by the way, yeah, we just celebrated a two year anniversary of the Punch It Chewy podcast. Wee! This party. Oh, that's the wrong no! one. Wow. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I was like, what? You know, we're no, announcing no. that we're, we're canceling done, the podcast. We're done. Uh, 
<clears throat> no. Yeah. We're here to stay. Two whole years. That really <laughs> flew by. I can't believe it's already been that long. It's been way... Uh, it's been a while. Yeah. It's been a while. I, 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 I could have been... I could have sworn this was like our <laughs> one year anniversary. Yeah. And then we just checked and it was like, oh shit, it's been two, two years. Two years and almost a hundred episodes. Yeah. Which is wild. We did... Well, you know, early on in the show, we kind of fumbled and, um, you know, we had to take a few few weeks off here and there. Yeah. Um, and uh, but but this has been immensely fun. Yeah. This has been like it's part of our every day. You know? Yeah. It's like part of our every day. And we still there's still so many areas that we want to improve on and like, you know, get better at get better at and also uh making sure we make time for and stuff yeah. like that yeah so um and, and you know we talk about it all the time but we we have big plans and a lot of stuff uh coming this year that we've been working hard on and and, and excited for mm-hmm. so um so yeah thank you guys thank you guys yeah, for being thank here you. thank you for listening for watching uh supporting it means a lot it truly means a lot and um you know, we're here to stay. We're here. Yeah. To, we're here to be idiots on the internet with yes. you guys. As that's why I, I love the podcast so much is because I feel like this is where we can be like our most authentic selves, like yeah. out of any platform or yeah. like any type of content. It's like it's literally just us sitting well, down on our couch. Yeah. And like talking about Star Wars or talking yeah. about like pop culture and stuff. So like it's very refreshing, whatever, yeah. like to do that. Well, yeah, I mean, this is, they get to spend the most time with us. Yeah. And, you know, the more time you spend with us, the more you'll get to know who we are, I guess. Yeah. Um, but, but no, yeah, again, thank you guys. We're excited. And uh, we got a fun episode today. Uh, I forget what we were talking about, but we'll get back to it. Um, let's go ahead and open up the show. We have a, f- a fun opening clip. <laughs> and uh, yeah, here we go. Did you see that season two of Rebel oh. Squadron is in? I should probably read the <laughs> caption. See, we're still horrible at this. Okay, so this uh, the caption is what Star Wars fans sound like to everyone else. Oh my god! <laughs> and l- let me just say, this is something I think about often. Yeah, like all the time. Like so, out of context. Like so what I, the hell are you saying? Yeah. yeah. So this is liter- this is exactly what we sound like. Okay. And insane yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> deranged did you see that season two of rebel squadron is introducing paz dillian hopefully it's the darth genda storyline <laughs> from shadows of Fathul and not that clone alliance thing they did in <laughs> ravagers of critter <laughs> what am i saying they can't introduce darth gendis until they introduce fizz fan people never mind fizz fan people <laughs> was at the battle of Bemucrant. No, yes, he was. Yes, he was. In the dark side ending of Force Academy oh, Jedi Ungular, fizz fan people co-pilots the rebel starfighter with gunt ripple my only real issue with season one is that Bundaruka goes he to meet him shit. before Drick Therad knows he's force sensitive. <laughs> but, are you kidding me? They're making Bix Mavantha black? They could just have John DiMaggio <laughs> play him in live action too. Oh my god! <laughs> Pilots the Rebel Starfighter with Gunt Ripple. <laughs> Fizz fan people. That's so real, though. They, they, that's exactly yeah, what the characters exactly, sound like. That's exactly how our dumbasses sound. Yeah. On this podcast. Yeah, <laughs> literally. It's so true. I saw this tweet a bit ago, and it was like this fucking Thrawn thing or like some shit, and it's just like someone tweeted, and it's like. I can't even understand Star Wars anymore. Like, I, <laughs> oh like, my I, I, God. like what the fuck is this? Yeah. It's like, like too much going. The on. Grand Empire of Thrawn's specific, like the specific name army, and it's all this shit. It's yeah, like, it's like the fuck. Like, <laughs> yeah. Here's my fucking thing. All right, we are slowly starting to see Star Wars go back to like 
and very slowly mind you yeah. very slowly going back to how intricate and weird it was when we had the eu yeah you know yeah. because again with a uh, new bad batch trailer right someone just got reintroduced right mm-hmm. so if you watch the bad the bad batch trailer uh, if you haven't uh we also did a reaction video that is up on our youtube so you can check that out here um but Bad Bat trailer was awesome, and Ventress is back. Mm-hmm. So Ventress in her Dark Disciple uh, outfit. It's I think it's slightly different, but it's pretty much yeah. that's what it is, mm-hmm. um, with the hair and everything. So she looks fucking badass. Yeah. Um, but what I'm trying to say is like, we're starting to get to get to the point where there's so many books that are now canon books, mm-hmm. right? Since the Disney buyout that. They're starting to introduce stuff from the current expanded, the canon expanded universe, yeah, into the 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 like TV projects, yes, or film, right, mm-hmm. or movies and stuff. The like live that. action the, stuff. Well, not well, Bad Batch isn't live action, or, but you know yeah, what I mean, like yeah. the shows, like animation, yeah. the stuff that's canon, can like, oh my god, I'm misspeaking. <laughs> you sound like this guy. <laughs> I, I know. And I, I just realized it. That's the canon, the, 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 the canon, live action, the okay. shows, the non-canon. The, the, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Let's be clear. Canon, we know what the fuck that is. Anything that is canon <laughs> in comics and novels is technically, if we're going to go by how like Star Wars used to work, yeah. that is expanded universe. Yes. But it's still canon. Yes. Right? It's canon expanded universe. Yes. The old expanded universe is now Legends. Yes. But it was. it's still technically... Expanded fuck, universe. <laughs> it's all here. <laughs> He's it's, got that diagram behind him with all yeah, the yeah, arrows yeah. and yeah, yeah. fucking yarn and shit. Acoustic, okay? <laughs> 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 no, so let's just be clear. Um, let's just be clear. Let's just be clear. This makes be no clear. sense. It makes yeah. no fucking sense. <laughs> Absolutely no sense. Anyway, I don't even know what the fuck I was saying. Oh. Ventress. That yeah, like it's Star Wars is slowly starting to go back to that like weird, right? Yeah. Where it's it's for nerds, motherfucker. And if yeah, you're not yeah, a nerd, yeah. <laughs> you don't get it. Yeah. Like it doesn't mean you can't like it, but yeah. it's gonna be weird to you. It's rewarding for people who Are re- explore yeah, exactly. everything. Everything. Yeah. Everything. Doesn't mean you're better. No, it doesn't. But it's a nice little wink wink yeah, at the exactly. people to know what's and, up. And it's 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 so gratifying to feel yeah. that because it's like I, I I read that book and I read yeah. th- those comics and like I love that character and 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 I never knew if it was gonna ever make it to a show or a movie mm-hmm. or or in in any way shape yeah. or form. And that book was very popular. Very is popular. very popular. Very popular. So Which people are granted, really excited to see. What's granted, up. I'm a fake. We're your fake fans. We haven't read it yet, but we know the story somewhat. Yeah. Um, but we're still excited. I, I think I want to read it before. Uh, I was literally just thinking we got to yeah, buy it. it. We should we it. should we do that with a book club? Would that be a good book yeah, to read let's next? Let's do it. Let's fucking do it. And uh, if you guys missed it, um, we were talking about a couple episodes ago, book club stuff. Uh, I don't think we're going to be doing book club on the podcast again, just because yeah. there's only so much time that we have. For the podcast. We also want to cover the shows on the podcast. Yeah, we, we want to cover so. a lot of different things on the podcast. Yeah. So it kind of takes uh, most of the episode mm-hmm. to talk about, you know, book club stuff. Yeah. So we're going to, I think we're going to be doing, no, we are going to be doing uh, YouTube videos. Yes. Like a, vi- a YouTube video series for book club, uh, for the book club. Yeah. A bunch of It'll be the club. same format same like shit. this, but yeah. um, not podcast episodes. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but yeah, fuck it. That's a great idea. We should. Hell yeah. Yeah, let's, I'm excited. Yeah, because there's a lot. There's gonna be a lot of people, us included. Yeah. Who want to make sure they know exactly what the fuck happened in Dark Disciple and and yeah. what happened with her character and Quinlan Voss and like all that that whole storyline before and the, going into Bad the Batch. writers of the show immediately like in the article when they announced yeah. Bad Batch season three were like. We are not retconning what happened in the book. Yeah. So what happens in the show will exactly. align with what happens in the book. Yes. So if you were worried about that, if you did read the book and were worried, okay, are they retconning? They're not. There may be little differences, but it's not so. like major. I got spoiled on Twitter. What? What, what, what happened in the book? Oh, really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Damn. Yeah, people just. Yeah. Fair game. Because but... some guy was like mad. He's like, wait, 
my, my, my. this yeah. happened. Yeah. 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 But she's dead. It's like, mm-hmm. okay, well, you know. Chill imagine, out. The yeah. imagination. <laughs> You're like, or a um, flashback? Like, or, like, we don't know. I that Okay. I, I was seeing this on Twitter a lot, and people are like, oh, well, it's going to be stupid because it's, it's just flashbacks. And it's like, what the fuck is wrong with flashbacks? Literally nothing. What's wrong with flashbacks? It's Literally still the nothing. story. We need context. We need context. I would have died for more flashbacks in, in the sequels. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Every Christopher Nolan movie is flashback. <laughs> there you go. And Christopher Nolan is a fucking G. Yeah. Um, but yeah, anyway. I'm excited. Yeah. Uh, I'm excited for book club because people have been asking about that uh, on the Discord. They're yeah. Like when and I'm where? Like hello, I've got my library card. Exactly. What are we doing? Exactly. So trust us. We've been listening. We 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 we've just been. There's so many things that we're doing right now, that, including a digital magazine. Including a digital magazine. Yay. Eee. Which is fun. Yeah. But takes work. Yeah. And coordination. It's a, and, it's a big bitch, but. Yeah. Excited. She a big, she, <laughs> she a, a big one. She a thickums. Thick um, speaking of thickums. <laughs> <gasps> what? Speaking of thickums. Our okay. dog. Ch- our dog. So, yeah. me and Erica were on the phone yesterday. <laughs> okay. We just. We're just I don't know how shit. the fuck this happened. It's yeah. just a segue know. of this bullshit. But okay. We were talking about Pee Wee. Yeah. And like them being old, and like he who's or getting gonna, old. They, yeah, we, we're getting talking old. about like. When Pee Wee gets old, mm-hmm. that he's so like he's fat now, but he moves around. Now, he'll do shit, right? Yeah, to get food and yeah, and you know, go outside to. But pee. he's lazy. But he's lazy. He likes yeah. he likes lounging. Mm-hmm. We're saying that once he gets old, he's probably just gonna like not move. So I could just put him anywhere. <laughs> like I, I could just have him anywhere in my room, like and he just chills. <laughs> and and start, I was like, <laughs> I, was I like, started dying. Bro. How about I just fucking like, put him on a shelf? <laughs> and oh, then I just put like a little thing, God. and then he just stays. He goes, <laughs> like he, he goes, he goes, a dog decoration, a dog decoration that I can just feed. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like yeah, on just a oh food. I said, I said, put a little tray of like grass or something that he can lay. Just have like, him like a guinea pig. Yeah, and I was like, I told him it was like a fucking bonsai tree. Oh <laughs> my <laughs> God! Yeah, I give him like a little trim each he morning. Just, he just hangs, and then. And as we were talking about this, I I was like, oh my god, I have the fucking perfect. We both, video. by the way, yeah. we both pictured this mm-hmm. simultaneously, the same vision. Okay. But both of us, like, we both described <laughs> the same thing. We were twin each telepathy. Thinking. And then and then I I, rem- I remember it. I was like, oh my god, I have a perfect video of what Pee Wee looks like. And I was just <laughs> okay. I showed it to Erica and for I the shelf. It. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and this is exactly what we both pictured. And he sends me this video. I could not stop is, laughing is this him because this is exactly what i fucking saw okay oh. so this is our dog peewee uh he's a toy fox terrier and mix. uh mix, mix. Yeah. um but yeah this is the only real issue with- oh no wrong video is- <laughs> it's like peewee talks <laughs> it's like i don't remember recording look at him <laughs> um, <laughs> wow yeah that's that's the vibe the ears back eyes yeah. squinted but wouldn't that be fucking great? belly out just having a peewee on your shelf i would love that imagine Shit. imagine him like this and <laughs> what, he, he goes chuck goes yeah i just want to put him put him on my shelf uh, uh, right, right in the sun, so he can grow. <laughs> oh my! Put him in the God. sun and water him so he can grow. <laughs> it's like taxidermy, but he's still alive. Picture him. Picture like, him. I can see like, it. I can him see on it. the window seal, just <laughs> yeah, basking in the sun. Yeah, yeah, because because you know that as soon as Pee Wee gets old, like he's, that that level of old where he's like like he's just gonna be like. I'm not going to move. You're going to feed me. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Like, you bring like, the food to me. Yeah. You bring exactly. the, the toilet to me. Exactly. Uh, we're back I love him. Look at him. Of, uh, Sims <laughs> <laughs> A bachelor. Living his best his life. His best freaking life. I love that dog. Oh I love God. my people. I love sitting on the porch with the dogs. They they love it. Yeah. yeah. I only do it sometimes because it rains and it gets dirty. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, oh, yeah. It, it is nice. It's a nice. It's a nice air, uh, like seating area at mom's house. I love you. The pew. I love him. I'm gonna. Anyway. I'm gonna move in with him. I'm yeah. Gonna, like I'm You're gonna, 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 I'm gonna live with, with him. Yeah. Oh my god. If I, if I move out, if I move out, and he's still, if he's still kicking. Yeah. I'm taking him with me. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Take him. 
And then Weenie's staying no, weenie? to hunt the rabbits. <laughs> You're not taking you Weenie? Uh, weenie will be the guard dog. Maybe I'll take Weenie. I kind of have to. They're brothers. Yeah. yeah. You know? yeah. We have two dogs. Mm-hmm. Pee-wee and then Weenie. You'll never guess what, what? kind of breed he is. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Weenie's a fucking serial killer. Should we He's talk about... Fu- yeah, we talk about how fuck it, dude. Killer? Yeah, our, our our okay, our wiener dog is a psychopath, and I say that <laughs> with the <laughs> us, utmost disrespect. Yeah. Um, he, okay, but you have okay. to preface this with how he was raised by okay. <laughs> Gizmo. Okay, Jesus, because okay. that does add context. Okay. So we used to have a uh, a German Shepherd. He was he was my he was my boy, loved him, uh, and he was trained. So he was a trained German Shepherd, um, and uh, I we got him when I was I was like in sixth grade, so mm-hmm. I was I was still young and and like immediately him and I like connected. Yeah, right? he was supposed to be like yeah. Anyway, so um, we also had another wiener dog. Yeah, another wiener dog named, named Buddy. Buddy. Yeah. <laughs> a tiny a miniature dog. Mini. He was tiny, and uh, they were like best friends. And then once I was in like high school. Uh, like senior year, right? Because you were there when we got Weenie and It was Peewee, the right? summer of 2015. So you had just graduated. Or you were about to graduate. We got Pee- no, 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 no. We got Pee Wee first. I graduated 20... 2014. It was 2015 because it was when we went on the cruise that Pee Wee grew when we were gone. Oh, my oh, God. Okay. So, yeah. 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 So, so it was I was 20... out of high. It was, you were it was in college. the year. Out... Yeah. It was my first year of college. So. It was my first year of college uh, that my mom was coming back from TJ, <laughs> so she had gone to Tijuana with my uh, with my grandma or my uncle no, or something. Uh, Theo. Theo, yeah, yeah, with my uncle. Uh, they went for something, <laughs> but at the border, in the line to cross, there's vendors. Yeah. There's like they sell chips, they sell fucking toys, toys, lucha masks, snacks mm-hmm. of all kinds, which fucking slap. Oh, they're the best. They're the best. Elotes, like, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. Also amongst <laughs> those peddled goods mm-hmm. are puppies. Yes. And Pee Wee <laughs> was one of those puppies. Yep. He's a border baby. He's a border baby. Um, and uh, my mom, so our, dwind- mom. our mom dwindled it down to a hundred dollars. Yeah. From yeah. like two hundred dollars. Well, sure. well, yeah, because yeah. because he because my mom, this guy comes up to the car holding peewee and he's like t- like like a fucking little ball like, like can't that. even hold his like head up yeah barely should, should still be drinking milk. she has a picture yeah. that we don't have but one day we'll show it when she got him and she puts him like up to up to her face and it's literally he's, he's like tiny he right? fit yeah. in a mug like he yeah he fit in a mug a coffee mug yeah. like he was tiny so but <laughs> the guy comes up to the car holding peewee and my mom like rolls down the window and goes teacup chihuahua i always wanted a teacup chihuahua and the guy's like yeah it's a teacup chihuahua Uh (laughs) and you guys saw that fat bitch right now that is not not a teacup (laughs) chihuahua that's not a teacup chihuahua so um the guy was like yeah it's a teacup chihuahua it's a super gulp chihuahua so immediately my mom (laughs) fell into the trap because that she set herself yeah um, that one was fun. on her. That was all, it was all on her, but no one blames <laughs> her because we all love Pee Wee. Yeah, we love Pee Wee. Uh, but it's just funny. But yeah, the guy was like two hundred, <laughs> and she's like, nah, a hundred or whatever. And he's like, fuck it, I'll take it. Yeah, this is a little, little yeah, little fucking yeah. He had, I'm sure, he a had bunch like ten more. more. He was just trying to. Um, he did so have more. He did yeah. have more. Yeah. Uh, the, the old almost got one, but then yeah, his sister. Like, yeah. <laughs> Imagine, bro. If we yeah. Had, a, a female peewee a female jesus besties besties mm-hmm. anyway uh so that's how my mom got peewee and then we got weenie our other wiener dog right after this that. was this was after because um should i tell this one <laughs> if you want yeah i guess our our father did not like peewee yeah no at did, all. he did not like peewee he did not like him for because my because our dad does not he's never liked like chihuahuas or like the look of those dogs yeah and and especially like he, he's never mm-hmm. liked small like rat dogs right? yeah 
He's, he's like, no, no, like, so I'm a real man who needs a real dog, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, even though we had a fucking miniature dachshund. Yeah, but yeah. that was your sister's dog, my sister's so that's dog. different. It's technically a hunting dog, Erica. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's fucking draw <laughs> these lines wherever we want, I guess. So, our, Holy our, shit. Our, our, dad, our dad didn't like Pee Wee, so he went out one day. I remember the reveal in to spite, me, too. In, in spite, spite of, yeah. of my mom getting Pee Wee. That's the best way to get a new pet exactly to do it out of spite and he was gonna replace peewee too with weenie which is insane but fucked but we love peewee too much we love peewee too um and then so weenie comes in i remember when he bought we i I didn't remember him buying him i remember the day he bought him yeah because he just went with van wee right yeah he went with van wee Mm. they just picked one out and i was in the kitchen and literally out of like a black like hallway like dark i just see dad carrying weenie in his hand like (laughs) cupped and I'm just like, oh my god! And then it, it's just Weenie, oh you know? yeah. God. And so I said hi, and Weenie had no nose. He was a little yeah. He was oh a little... yeah. Remember, he looked like Robert Duvall. Mm-hmm. He did. With his name is Robert Weenith Duvall Jr. the, the third. third. Full name. Mm-hmm. Don't ask us. We're just out of our minds. <laughs> and Pee Wee's Pee Wee. No, Pee Wee's Pee Wee Piggy Pig, yeah. uh, Piggert. Uh, hey, yeah, you said pig. Yeah. I said pig. Piggerthin. Um. um Fat, thick fat. <laughs> fat bitch. Yeah, fat bitch. Gordo. Uh, I love him. I love him so much. Uh, asshole. There we go. Yeah. Uh, no, that's and, weenie. Yeah. It's all just variations of pig, though. Pig. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Weenie has actual titles. Yeah, yeah. Weenie has titles. It's just funny that it went from Peewee because of how small he was, and then we morphed it to Pigger. <laughs> yeah, I feel like he's not small. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pigwee. He's an yeah. oxymoron. Yeah, no. It, it was funny because Chuck named him Pee Wee because of how small he was, and then he just got fatter and fatter. And, we were like, I'm confused. I don't yeah. think this is Chihuahua. It's because, yeah. okay, the reason why he was so small and so teacup like is because when we bought him, pretty much. He was like a week old. Yeah, he was yeah. like a week old. He was, yeah. he was dying. So we took him to the vet and we had to get him like milk and stuff so that he could live. Yeah. But pretty much was, that's why he was so teacup sized was because he was his shots like malnourished. And malnourished. So we, we helped yeah. him. And now he's a fat. <laughs> now he's too big. He was now too small. small. Now he's too big. Okay, but anyway, yeah. So finish your, your yeah, yeah. <laughs> long story. Yeah, we haven't even talked about weenie, yeah, bro. Oh about my weenie. god. We just we just keep talking about how fat Pee Wee is. Yeah, yeah. Oops. Love fat shaming our dog. I love, yeah. At this point, we had four dogs, which is insane. <laughs> but we had four dogs. We had a German Shepherd, uh, two miniature Dachshunds, uh, and then Pee Wee. <laughs> whatever he is whatever he is <laughs> which our best guess we know we, did, we know he's at least part toy fox terrier he's definitely but we, we don't, don't know, know if he's mixed chihuahua or mixed some, like we don't know yeah. yeah who knows but we love him <laughs> either way we love him um and uh anyway so this point we have four dogs and uh the newest miniature dachshund weenie he becomes like he sees gizmo our our german shepherd and he's like his idol yeah like he immediately starts emulating everything that the german shepherd does how he walks where he sits Mm -hmm. what Mm -hmm. he does and then and he he was a little puppy a little baby and so and it was funny seeing gizmo enormous and he was he wasn't just a german shepherd he was like a fucking specimen yeah Yeah, he he was was big and he was uh like um, he was like was bigger. Like, they're like full bread. Oh, uh, pure bread. Pure bread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, was he was bigger pure... than a toddler. Like, Dude, yeah. a head like fucking like this. He was like a wolf. He was, he was, yeah. Like, yeah, he was like a wolf. I, I to this day have never seen a bigger German Shepherd. No, yeah, he was he was big. Yeah, he was big. Um, I loved him. I loved him. He's no, he's not with us, but uh, he was a good dog. He, he was, was a very, very good dog. He saved Chuck's life. Uh, a few times. A couple yeah. <laughs> times. One of them was when uh, Chuck was really little. He was walking by the pool. Uh, and uh, I guess dad dad pretty much witnessed this. From where, the kitchen? From the kitchen because he saw you over by the pool and Gizmo yeah. was with you. And he was going to go. But then he saw that Gizmo started guiding Chuck away from the pool. Like he got in between Chuck and the pool and started guiding him the opposite direction. The opposite direction. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That like he was very well trained. Like yeah. he was very very well trained. So, um, but an amazing dog, a, a, a complete sweetheart. He was he could kill a man in a moment. 
<laughs> but he was like a big teddy let, bear. Because, like, yeah. okay, what happened was, is he was very trained for us to treat him like a guard dog, but yeah. we very much yeah. treated him like a no. house dog. Yeah, you guys, yeah. like, yeah. technically you weren't supposed to, yeah. like, be close to him, right? No, no yeah. We, like, we weren't supposed to let... Training. We're supposed to keep, continue, like, his training. And yeah, we were yeah. supposed to, yeah. but no, he was our dog, and, and yeah. we, we, we weren't supposed to let anyone pet him. We never did that. You're like, we don't like, go for No, no, no. <laughs> we, we know we're safe. Because Gizmo wouldn't yeah. bite anyone either. No, so he, he like... never did anything to anybody. Yeah. Like, it, no, he was a sweetheart. Yeah, he wasn't aggressive. Or no, like... he wasn't. He would growl Yeah. if it was someone he didn't know. and it, But as soon as you told him to stop, he'd stop. Yeah, um, it was more so like, hey, do you know hey, this hey, guy? Hey. And yeah. then you were like, yeah, we know him. He's exactly. Cool. And he was like, all right, exactly. all right chill. Yeah, Pee Wee on yeah, the yeah. other hand. Pee Wee on the he other hand. He fucking hated Pee Wee. <laughs> he hated Pee Wee. Okay. Oh no, no. What I was gonna say is Pee Wee would bite everyone's ankles. Oh yeah, Pee Wee. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, but hey, anyway, he's traumatized. Okay, he is traumatized. Anyway, uh, Gizmo didn't like Pee Wee, uh, <laughs> so he kind of like bullied him uh, in a lot. <laughs> kind of gave him an eating disorder. Uh, gave yeah. him an eating disorder, um, and then uh, but Weenie was. Uh, loved gizmo and gizmo gizmo would let weenie like jump on him and like play with him like lick his face and, like lick his and face stuff. and gizmo would just be like sitting there like a fucking sphinx like grandpa yeah yeah exactly it, it, it was it, it was adorable Pee-wee so it was the black sheep yeah, yeah. so gizmo was very much like the the master and weenie was very much like the padawan yeah <laughs> in, in this case uh so weenie kind of grew up thinking that he's a big dog. Yes, absolutely. Very much so. <laughs> he's like, I'm a German Shepherd. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> like, I am Your legs are like four inches long, bro. Yeah. Like, you are not a German Shepherd. I'm a Shepherd. wolf. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now, so since Gizmo died, um, Weenie kind of like feels like he's, you know, like the big the dog. Alpha. Yeah. Like the alpha. Like Pee-wee got neutered. Too. Pee-wee got neutered right before Gizmo died because... We were like, okay, if we don't neuter him, Gizmo's gonna like kill him. And then as soon as we neutered Pee Wee, <laughs> Gizmo died. Away, yeah. Which I feel like was him. He like was he was out. holding out, was holding just, out. Was like, just to just see that dog take neutered. That bitch's balls. <laughs> yeah. And I'm out. And we did. And then he's like, all right, I can die in I peace. I can die in <laughs> peace. <laughs> um, so wild, so, fucking wild. Our dogs are very. Uh, they've Spicy. got a lot of character. <laughs> It's humanoid humanoid yeah, it's they're literally like family like we talk they about are. we talk about yeah. them and memories like family like the yeah. shit that they do no yeah, yeah. They, they they've we've we've always been very lucky with good dogs mm-hmm. we've had we've always had good dogs yeah um, but with weenie after weenie's passed, a different story we had a we, we had like a big backyard so we had always had a lot of rabbits birds and well stuff. we live it we we, yeah. we live in or mom's house our old house and mom's house currently yeah. is uh was is in a canyon so there's a canyon, so there's a lot of coyotes. A lot of like wild lot of rabbits, life. a lot of like, you know, rat like snakes. not rats, but like, you know, rodents and stuff like that. There's snakes. Lizards. So, so um a hunting there's a lot of yeah, exactly. A lot it's, of things to like, chase mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> and catch. Weenie yeah. Weenie loves running around catching shit. But this motherfucker, he's crazy because he looks he's so sweet. He looks so he cute. He looks like an angel. And he he is, looks like an angel. He's a if, white. If we could pull up a photo right now, he is an angelic dog. He's yeah. like, literally an angelic dog. Good model. Like, I'm not just... Like, I fucking hate this dog sometimes. <laughs> I literally sometimes want to strangle this dog because he's so stubborn. Yeah. And, like, he'll, like... He'll get mad at you. Yeah. When he, he does has something no wrong. right. Yeah. He has no right He'll to literally... Be, Poop on the floor, piss He'll on shit. your pillows. He'll look you in the eye and shit on the floor and be yeah. like, what the fuck are you going to do about this? Yeah. Yeah. And then you do something and he gets mad. Yeah. He's like, how dare how you? How dare you? How dare Tell you? me I can't shit on anyway, the living room carpet. <laughs> yeah. He's got a fucking tood. That's all I have to say. But, um, but yeah. So this dog, an angel to look at, to look at. Yeah. And, uh, Isn't that kind of how all serial killers are, though? The, I'm getting there. Okay. I'm okay. fucking getting there. I'm trying. <laughs> so, what this dog does is he won't eat his kibble. No, no, he won't eat his food. He'll maybe have a couple bites, but <laughs> He'll then only eat his food if he knows there's nothing to hunt that day. Exactly. Yeah. Because he won't eat his food, and then he'll go off. He'll run off into like, um, you know, the bushes. Yeah. And you'll come back with like a dead rat 
or a dead rabbit or a fucking dead something. Bird. Birds. Lizards. Lizards. Anything. Anything you can find. And that's what he eats. And, and brings into his bed. Yeah, he'll bring he it in. He rolls around like, Bring in it, it into the house. Yeah, dude. I'm like, bruh. This is, okay, he is a white. <laughs> he uh, has like a all ritual. White, yeah. uh, he's all white. Some brown uh, spots. Oh my God, dachshund. Mm-hmm. All white with brown spots. Light brown. More, Light more brown. like caramel. Like, yeah, like yeah. a yeah. caramel. Yeah, they're like caramel spots. And uh, he's beautiful. He's It's like, a, it's literally, he's Ted Bundy, bro. Like, he's <laughs> he fucking, like, like. You'd never suspect. You'd never suspect. And then this motherfucker will come back with like a rabbit's head. And you're like, and you're like that rabbit was bigger than you are. Like, how like, did you the even hell? do that? The shit that surprises me the most is when he catches birds. Yeah. That I don't get. Because he, you know he was like prowling. Like, yeah, like yeah. it took him a few days to figure that one out. Yeah. I remember so, I would I would catch him because we had this like cabinet outside full of our towels and stuff because we had like a pool Yeah. at our old house. So... He, there would be like rats and stuff behind this cabinet and i'd always see him like diving in there and shit, like <laughs> waiting yeah. he knew that they were mm-hmm. there yeah and i remember i think i don't know if it was him but there was just a dead rat there yeah and i took a selfie with it and then <laughs> oh like, my yeah, god fun. No. gross <laughs> <laughs> fucking gross no yeah dude i remember this one time weenie we so again he's all white and he gets very dirty quick yeah. very quick because he's all white um and so we have to wash him regularly. So this one time we give him a bath because he was filthy. And as soon as we give him a bath, he runs outside, finds a dead rat and rolls yep. around. Does in a it. little shimmy. Just like, like just lays on it and starts rolling on it. Yeah. And we're like, what? You're like, I know, I know you hell. don't want to smell like whatever good honey or whatever the hell they put in this dog shampoo but like do you really have to roll in a dead rat immediately and he does that every single time yeah even if it's not a dead rat he'll go out go in the dirt and like, yeah, yeah he's, like, he's a fucking asshole bro like yeah, an no. armadillo he wants to be dirty he <laughs> wants okay. to be dirty at least his bathing process isn't that bad though yeah like it's it's just like him crying yeah, yeah. kiwi <laughs> holy fucking shit it's like, he will like it's he'll jump your... out he'll claw yeah. me he's like <laughs> and then I, he's gonna die i have to fucking close the shower door at some point so then he'll like scratch at it oh <laughs> like, my god Let me out. so dramatic so dramatic i have to right. do it with like no shirt because any shirt i have on he's like rips it because i have to hug him I, I have to like hug him <laughs> and bathe him. <laughs> bathe him so he can't leave literally uh, Sorry, I'm looking. I'm looking for a picture of Weenie just, just so you can see what we're talking about. If uh, we're using my phone right now, but if I have the best fucking. I know we have like thousands of photos, but Mm -hmm. we were not prepared to talk about it. No, yeah, yeah, we weren't. We We thought we were only going to talk about Pee Wee. Yeah. Oh my God, Silva's calling. Oh, Um, we didn't even. Oh yeah, Silva. Silva. uh, Silva was hospitalized because he got got attacked by a wild pack of chihuahuas. (laughs) Uh, and uh that's why he's not here uh i don't know if he's gonna make it uh, hopefully but, not um they but, finally got him yeah they finally got him <laughs> they got they finally, their revenge they caught up to him mm-hmm. oh my god you see uh karma exists <laughs> <laughs> no he's fine he's fine uh he's just got a nose job and a bbl <laughs> imagine he comes back with like a kim kardashian oh <laughs> my it's like, god it's like all like Fleek but yeah. no, yeah. yeah. He's gonna be like, what? no bump. Guys, what? What's different? His what? lips done. Yeah. What are you looking at? <laughs> yeah. This is me. This is uh, all me. <laughs> yeah. There's like a chin structure. And all this oh stuff. my yeah. god. Comes back looking like like uh, Zac Efron. Like, the... No. <laughs> Beautiful Squidward. <laughs> Beautiful Squidward. Uh, I look the same. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jesus. So he did have a nose job. But oh, yeah, he yeah. had a deviated, deviated septum, septum. Yeah. so this was a, a medical procedure. So, uh, also, but maybe they still did some work, you know? We don't know. I told him, I said, might as well, bro. Yeah, if you're going to like have well. your nose broken, you might as well get a new nose. Yeah, get a new nose. So. Get, a, get a new face. <laughs> While you're at it. <laughs> no matter it. what procedure, just give me lipo. Like, <laughs> just like, take out any fat, bro. Just care. suck yeah. it out with a vacuum. Take all the fat and put it in my lips. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and ass. Uh, 
<laughs> that armo True. booty that cheeked mm-hmm. up yeah um uh, no yeah he's fine he's uh he's he's recovering yeah uh, he's just been resting he looked like shit bro like, <laughs> oh my god he, he he looked like he went 10 rounds with the champ like, yeah beat up yeah, he looks like he got really? beat the fuck up. Well, yeah, up. your whole face is like bruised. He was like all swollen, swollen black oh eyes, like like uh, like black like eye bags, yeah. and like he has like a, a well, they bandage opened over up his, no- his fucking bro. They face, break yeah. your nose. And you have your to break nose your goes, nose. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They break your nose and it they lift it because like you have like two nasal passages, but one of his is almost completely closed. Yeah. yeah. So they pretty much have to like saw that all Holy down, fucking. and then they have to take your nose off, like here, yeah, and lift it up so that they can do that, like, like fucking, uh, who's that, like Marvel character, skull? Oh, the Red Skull. The yeah. red skull. Like Red Skull, there, like yeah. that's what you look like, and that's closed. And then they so they open it up, and then they put your nose back down. Oh but because God. of the trauma of the surgery, you're all bruised, yeah, bruised, you're be- and yeah, dude swollen he had a really bad migraine from like the yeah. pressure and stuff. well yeah because because after the surgery and and once he's it's healing there's a bunch of dried blood that uh dries up and it's up so he, he still couldn't breathe out of his nose even what after the, the surgery because yeah. yeah. it's all dried up and it's up in his nose so and that's actually what i was going to say is i don't know i think we should have a discussion as podcasters and <laughs> listeners Okay. Because, and and editor obviously. Yes. Because Silva wants to come back and show us all of this. Ew. You're he said he recorded. No. no. He recorded. No. You. He, did I don't he think we can this? even post that. That's I what I mean. Yeah. He's like, we'll put a disclaimer, and I'm like, no, that's like, that's like, I don't some, know. That's too, if it's I, blood, it I'm might be sure, too much. Unless we put it like educational. I don't think so. <laughs> Like the, the, yeah. Like, the yeah. na- like the butthole guy on the <laughs> Oh yeah yeah yeah, the yeah, yeah. butthole. So this that is my fucking asshole. asshole did not give you a warning, bro. He's like, I, I I I said what was going on right before. He goes, All right, so here's my butthole right before and then yeah. immediately. Yeah, you don't pre- even have a yeah. second. Pre wash, to... pre nair, yeah. and then just full spread. Yeah. That's wild. <sighs> yeah, maybe maybe we should ask him how he did it. So Yeah. Yeah, what category did no. you put? Actually, I don't know I don't, if we can show that. But here's the thing, I don't want to see it. No, I don't want to see it. Me I mean, a before and after picture of his face is fine. I'll see, yeah. but I don't want to see like the swollen. gauze. Yeah. No, he and, said like, he said that they were taking oh. out like there's like these things, <gasps> uh, kind of like some teapons, mm-hmm. right, up in his nose that they're gonna take out and they oh. yank. And he said it takes out like all the dried blood and everything. Oh. And because it's dried blood, it's also gonna be ripping like his nose hairs out. Oh my god. And and so he's like he's like I'm gonna record it. I'm gonna I'm be gonna... sick just listening. To that's that. what I mean. Why does he think that's fucking funny? Silva loves stuff he's that like, makes like, people uncomfortable. He's like it's content. It's content. I that was is like, not I don't content. Know. I don't, no, I don't know not. about that. That's disgusting. As our producer, I don't think Silva knows how the internet works. <laughs> no, yeah. it's like they're Definitely gonna not. love this. Definitely not. Um, but at least we're never bored. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> love you. Fucking yeah. bitch. <laughs> yes, I, we hope you have a speedy recovery. No, no, he's fine. I, I was gonna say he looked like shit. Yeah, As, like because he he FaceTime. He's been FaceTiming me every day since his <laughs> surgery. Yeah, Give even right updates. after his surgery, I was his first call. I'm flattered. <laughs> I really am. That was his first call. He FaceTimed me, and he <laughs> it was so funny because he was still like. Like Kinda, out of it, yeah. He was still very high, yeah. And he's like, "I'm fine." He's like, "I don't feel nothing." He's like, he, he kept going like, hmm? <laughs> that, like did, did he, I have wait, did, yet? did they record his high self? No, they didn't because My right God. after his surgery, uh, he they like kept him in the room for like a few hours. <sighs> so and his like, mom wasn't allowed in. No, damn. Boo. Uh, yeah, his should have put a GoPro on him. Yeah. That's what <laughs> <I mean. laughs> I think we should just do that anyway. <laughs> Dude, I always talk to her about this. Like, we should just strap a camera to his fucking head. Imagine if we Truman, Anywhere, sh- like Truman just... showed Silva. Dude, oh my that would God. be the hit show. We should. Like, the hit show of our generation would be watching just this gaslighting just gaslighting him. Just live life. <laughs> just live life and, like, I guess breathe air. Um, through his mouth. Through his mouth. Not, well, not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. Damn, I'm gonna miss she it. really went for the jug. <laughs> I'm gonna miss it. <laughs> it's all up. Yeah, you guys won't hear him breathing into the mic yeah. anymore. Yeah. 
No, this was a podcast expense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Business, <laughs> Business expense. Business expense. No, no, yeah. He, uh, what I was saying is like he looked beat up. He was, he looked rough, and he was like all bandaged up. And then like a couple days later, he Facetimes me. He looked great. Yeah. Looked like every like he, the swelling went down, and then he showed me like he took off his bandage. You can't even tell. Really. It's just like a, a couple of stitches right here at like the bridge of the no- or no, not the bridge. Um, like between where your nose meets your lip. Mm-hmm. I don't know what this is called. Bridge. No, this is the bridge. Oh, bridge. right. Yeah, you're right. Mm-hmm. Um, there's where you a put word. your nose ring. <laughs> where, I don't know what it's called. Septum. Yeah. Septum. The yeah. word, what he yeah. got fucking, mm-hmm. what he went for the surgery for. See, we're very smart here. Yeah. Uh, at we, the, we know our stuff. We are we doctors. doctors. We're smarter than a fifth yeah. grader. Um, so definitely take medical advice <laughs> from us <laughs> at all times. We know what we're talking about. Um, but yeah, he, he really doesn't look bad. He looks great. Uh, he looks almost fully recovered, but he still feels like shit. Yeah. Because he got, like, because of, like, the dried blood and all that in his nose, he, he's getting, like, really bad headaches and stuff. Yeah, the, the sinus pressure must yeah. be fucking killing Yeah, he said that was the worst. He said, like, the third or fourth day was, like, the worst of all of the days. Ooh. And that he was like, can I take more of my pain medication? <laughs> can I have two, please? And, and it did was they like, give him drugs? They did, but it's, like, yeah. one. It's monitored. It's one every, uh, like, 12 hours. And he said that, that on the worst day... That after two hours, he was like, can I already take another one? But really? he couldn't. And he, so it was like all day. He was just like fucking oh. horrible headache. That's the and worst. Just like, what are they giving him? Uh, I don't know. I didn't ask. But when, when he comes back, we'll, we'll, we'll get the load. Probably better, something better strong. Give him some good like shit. Oxycontin yeah. or something. Yeah, exactly. Um, they stopped using the good stuff. Right. <laughs> stopped using opioids. Right. <laughs> Dang it. Darn. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Um, He'll be back soon. He'll yeah. be back soon. I think he already wants to come back. But I was like, okay, rest. Frankenstein. <laughs> chill. Rest. Yeah. You know, then, the then come back. <laughs> like, oh you're my less God. ugly, you can be yeah. back. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's fine. Just he looks, kidding. He looks beautiful. How Leave about we do it? How, how about he does a series of um, tissue of the day? Oh tissue. my he blows God, his nose every day. <laughs> tissue of the day. see it's how disgusting. good his mucus oh. is and if there's no blood. Mm-hmm. don't tell him that because he's gonna do he's it he's gonna do it yeah. <laughs> all right well uh we miss you silva and yes, um, we do. we'll see you soon mm-hmm. um and everyone here wishes you well <laughs> so we got a bit of uh some show and tell we do for you guys yeah um do you want to do you want to pick them up and I will oh, yeah, yeah. do the talkie talk? I shall pick up. So um, <laughs> Crimson Dawn Lightsabers Ooh. gifted me this new set. So this is the Banshee Lightsaber. Um, so you can buy it individually, just one saber, or you can get a bundle, um, which comes with two. And then you can attach it and make one giant lightsaber staff. Um, there we go. Oh. Nope. The other way? Uh, yeah, the other way, I think. No. Righty tiny lefty Lucy. I swear we know what we're doing. <laughs> Do we? There we go. There we go. Okay. So. Go. You want to hold it? I don't want to. I guess. It. Okay. So yes, this is the Banshee lightsaber bundle. Ooh. And this is a baselet saber, Look at that. Um, and it has a really nice glow. Obviously, it looks better in the dark, but um, it's really, really fun. This is the first saber I've ever had that's like double bladed, um, oh. and it goes through all the colors, so you can like pick whichever color you want. It has different effects. Yeah, let me do it. Look at that. Yeah, so it'll just like play through, and then you just tap to choose whichever color you want um it also has sound fonts and there's like clash smooth swing um there's even like a blaster effect Let me see. i think if you just tap it yeah oh this is like the so yeah i'm really excited to play around with this i haven't really swung it around too much because there isn't really room in our apartment yeah. um, but we gotta go outside we're gonna go outside maybe to a park and go mess around with it and probably duel each other um definitely 
But yeah, so thank you, Crimson Dawn, for gifting me this. And yes, if you guys want to check it out, um, you can check out their website. It is crimsondawn.com. And you can use my code Isabella10, Isabella in all caps, for 10% off. Yes. So, yeah. Good on, <laughs> yeah. Again, I, we can never complain with a new lightsaber. Right? I'm, a, I'm always happy. And we were playing it with it last night, and it was really fun. It was. It was. <laughs> so no yeah. Hell yeah well well now we gotta like recreate uh duel the fates we do we do you but we do, need a third person you gotta shave your head oh my god do some face paint i should some horns some horns okay you down yeah are you gonna be qui-gon or obi-wan uh what do you prefer rat tail or or qui-gon mullet i feel like you need a rat tail you have the padawan cut yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah you right just tail. need the braid. Okay. Maybe Veva can be Qui Gon. <laughs> <laughs> she would totally do it. She would. She, she would, would be so dumb. Oh my god, dude, we've been so freaking busy. Yeah. We've been so busy uh, with Star Girl, with Punch It, with we. Oh, with by the way, we. Uh, I, I meant to uh, uh, let you guys know at the beginning of the episode, but if you're still here, uh, this weekend so mm -hmm. this weekend we're gonna be at uh pasadena comic-con uh so january 28th with which i believe is a sunday yeah it's just a one-day show up in pasadena if you're in the area definitely come on by we've heard it's a really fun show there's gonna be a bunch of really cool guests mm -hmm. at this event um and uh we're excited and so you know we 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 made sure we, we that we're gonna, gonna be there with punch it um and uh we have i think we have a couple of new things we're gonna have a few new things i think with so us. Mm -hmm. um but yeah we're very very excited passing the comic con is gonna be fun as this weekend and we also uh we are just we just locked in and we got everything figured out we're gonna be going to emerald city comic con yes! this yes we're so I'm so, so freaking excited. excited that's uh that's been one of the shows that we've always been uh like it's always been like on our dream list right? yeah uh being able to do and uh, last year was the first year that we started traveling for shows. Mm -hmm. And, uh, uh, and uh, well, the only show we traveled for last year was C2E2. Yeah. Now, this year, we've been, we've been spending the last couple of months. Uh, if, if it seemed like we've been kind of like, uh, you know, a little bit inconsistent with some, some things, uh, in mainly podcast things, mm -hmm. it's just been because we're... We're uh, we're doing a lot of work behind the scenes, yeah. Uh, because this year we decided is the year that we're fucking, uh, we're 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 going everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> going everywhere we're doing. We've been booking a bunch of shows for this year, um, uh, Emerald City Comic Con included. We're doing. Um, I guess I'll just uh, let you guys know the other shows that we're going to be at. So we're doing Emerald City Comic Con. Uh, that's going to be, that's in Seattle. If you don't know which, which, where that one is, that's in Seattle. If you're in the Seattle area, you haven't been to Emerald City or you do go to Emerald City, we will be there. We're, we're going to be coming. Uh, that's on February 29th. Uh, so, so it's from February 29th to March 3rd. So I think it's a four-day show. Mm -hmm. uh, we're also going to be doing WonderCon this year, which that's one of the, one of the ones we always do. Um we're also going back to C2E2. Mm -hmm. We're going back to Chicago this year. Um, and then we're doing uh, F Phoenix Fan, Fan Fusion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Phoenix Fan Fusion. Uh, we're, yeah, we're going around this yeah. year. <laughs> and uh, we're, we're still waiting to hear confirmation on one other really big show that I'm pretty sure is a done deal. Yeah. That we're, but we just, we need to confirm. Yeah. We need to confirm. So before I let you guys know about that one, we'll confirm. And of course, we'll be at San Diego. Yeah. San Diego Comic Con this year with our boys, uh, BB Create. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, also at WonderCon, we, WonderCon and San Diego Comic Con, we usually do our, our collaborative booths. Yeah. Um, so we're so very, much fun. Very, very excited for that. That's going to be awesome. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we're still booking or, or looking at other yeah, shows. Yeah, that that's we really can do. just the first half of the year. Yeah, really. <laughs> so it's gonna be crazy. So, but yeah. we're excited to meet you guys. Yes, I think we that's are. what I'm most excited about. Yeah, doing shows out of state is like seeing people because like 
obviously we know people online right we're like internet friends but to actually yeah. meet people in person and put like a username to a real face and yeah, everything exactly. is is really cool yeah so no it, that's it what is I'm excited it for. really is and i know uh, a few of you michael included have asked us uh to come to texas to come to dallas specifically that has been that's like one of our biggest uh goals yeah. this year is we're definitely trying to I do not know if we're going to be able to make it to this year's Dallas Fan Expo mm-hmm. just because it's a harder, it's a little bit of a harder show to get into and yeah. we haven't done any of the Fan Expo events. Not because we don't want to, it's just because we're just starting to travel for shows and most of the, sh- the Fan Expo events are not local to yeah. where we are. Yeah. So we haven't had a chance to do any of those. But... Um, We've been looking at Fan Expo Boston. We were looking at Fan Expo San Francisco for a little while, but we weren't able to do it this year. Um, there's also Fan Expo New Orleans that we were looking at. So we're we're weighing our options. We want to see yeah. wh- where we can start with Fan Expo. If we can start with Dallas, that'd be freaking awesome. Yeah, you know, but that's like one of their, you know, their bigger, bigger shows. shows. And, yeah, uh, and MegaCon included. I'm pretty sure they also do MegaCon, which we also want to do. But that's, again, another Got to work goal. up to those, exactly. those shows. But yeah, we're very, very excited to be traveling this year uh, and doing all these shows and getting to meet a lot of you. And um, uh, and it's all thanks to you guys, honestly. Yeah. It's thanks to your support. So um, stay tuned for more details on what shows we got coming up. And um, But yeah, for now, our very next show is Pasadena Comic Con uh, on June 28th which is January a or sorry, January 28th. <laughs> um, and then Emerald city comic con is our very next show after that. Our first big show of the year, which is February 29th to March 3rd in Seattle. But uh, yeah, excited to see you guys. It's gonna be awesome. Um, uh, I don't know how I, uh, how I went on that tangent, not <laughs> tangent, but you know, uh, what were we talking about? Uh, um, Sorry, we just finished the sabers, and then, um, before that we were, we're talking about the dogs yeah, for a while. Mm. Oh, I was saying that we've been busy. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, this yeah. is what we've been doing. This oh. is, we've been busy, <laughs> uh, but so we've mainly been home working on stuff. I mean, we work from home. I, either I'm designing on my iPad, or we're editing stuff on the computer, or Bella's working on the computer. So we really spend most of our time at home. Yeah. Like w- the only time we, we really go out is sad. But we, <laughs> we don't have friends. We don't have friends. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was going to say the only time we really go out is with friends or uh, or when we have events, you know, and, and stuff yeah. like that. And, and we, we do a lot of family stuff because, you know, Mexican. Um, <laughs> but um, we do a lot of family stuff. And uh, but ma- mainly we're here. Yeah. We're designing. We're, we're working on stuff. So when we are. We're watching stuff on the, in the, either in the background or not working on what we're supposed to be working on because we're, wor- we're watching. <laughs> we're distracted. We're distracted. Uh, but uh, I know we mentioned it a couple episodes ago, but we've been binging um, uh, Boardwalk Empire. Yeah. I was about to say Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> but you know what we mean. Another banger. But... Another fucking banger. I watched it. I didn't even tell you that I watched it, but it was one day you were gone. I just Empire? Put it on. Yeah. I just put it on. Yeah. I watched the whole thing. How was it? Oh, my God. It gets better every time it's you watch it, right? You watch it, yeah. Wait, like, you guys already finished the show? No. No, no, no. Uh, Empire Strikes Back. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. The best one. Yeah. Uh, we I mean, just yeah. finished the second season, and we've watched, like, the first two episodes of the third season of uh, Boardwalk. Yeah. And, dude. Dude, I was dude. not expecting that. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. I don't know if you guys care if we spoil it. <laughs> maybe, maybe not major spoilers. <laughs> okay. Because we want people to watch okay, the show. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Beavs Duchemi. Is Beaven. Is is Beaven. Yeah. Fucking Beaven. He's back he, on his bullshit. How good is he in this show? He's really good. That's yeah. why we call really him Beaven. Really good. Yeah. That's why we call him. Okay. Beav, <laughs> was, I don't Duchemi? think he was here for that. Were you not here for that? I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> so. like, what the fuck are so, you saying? The only. So. This is the first time either Do of you us separate s- his Adam Sandler movie yes. self from yes, the yes, yes. Yeah. See, yes. Chuck gets you it. Get it. You get I, it. I didn't even have to say anything. You get it. I knew it. Yeah. <laughs> I know how you fucking the, think. The comedian <laughs> yeah. 
is Steve yeah. Buscemi. Mm-hmm. Exactly, exactly. But the serious Beef. actor That's Beef. is Beef. Stuscemi. Beef Stuscemi. That's amazing. <laughs> no, I, we fucking love him, dude. Mm-hmm. He is amazing in this show. He really And is. he just, he shits on fools. Yeah. He will shit on, on them, like, at every turn. Like, They'll come at him with bullshit, words, but... and he's like, deflects. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. More bullshit. Deflects. Mm-hmm. It's like a Jedi. Yeah. Well. But Beave. I don't know if I'd say Jedi. But. Okay, whatever. You know what I mean. <laughs> Reaction time wise. Yes. Not like yes. morals and stuff. <laughs> uh, no, it's really good. It's really good. It's really, really good. If you guys are late on the Boardwalk Empire train like we were. Yeah. <laughs> we just started it. Hop on. Yeah. Because it's good. The it's time really period good. alone, I think, makes it like Dude, that's really, what fucks with me. really. I only got one. That's thing. what fucks. I only with got me. one thing a little spoiled from that show because I might start watching the. Because you might spoil it. Yeah, for us. we might not know. I'll just I'll just talk about the character. I won't say what happened. the The guy with the half a face. Uh huh. Just him, and like his, his plot. fate or what? Yeah, his fate. Okay, then oh, don't, don't, don't say us, shit. Okay, okay, don't don't say. <laughs> Dude, I that was a him. close one. We yeah. were about to have a situation. Yeah, yeah. I'm about to kill Chuck right here. <laughs> no, um, he's he's one of the best characters for sure. Like it breaks your heart because so I think the biggest part of the show is this, it's right after World War One. He's a World mm-hmm. War One survivor. Yeah, he's uh-huh. a World War One vet, and most pretty much all the men that are in the show, you know, went served. to war. Yeah. They served, and so they, it's kind of like Peaky. Kind of. It's the yeah. same time It's pretty much the same period. time period. Really? Yeah. But, we, we, but in America? But in America. Yeah. In Atlantic yeah. City. Yeah. Um, so, so yeah, we say it's like the sp- the spiritual uh, prequel, I sister, guess. Or like yeah. sister <laughs> to, to Peaky Blinders. Because it's literally the same exact time, except Peaky Blinders is in the UK. The UK. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but but uh, the Irish play a significant role in this show. So mm-hmm. this potato over here, you know, <laughs> all in. Yeah, I'm like, oh my in. god, it's that. Oh my god, they're talking about this. Yeah, I never, I never. No, see... no, it's crazy because you do, you really don't. No, Peaky no. Blinders is the only thing that I think has even come close to accurately representing things. So, yeah. um, it's been it's been really cool to see this, and especially because I don't know too much about my Mm great-grandparents um like they passed before i was even born but like that was the time period of my great-grandparents um so it's really interesting all like the historical things that are going on in this time period like women getting the right to vote and all the stuff that's going on with the black communities and the kkk and just the the prohibition and uh it's like industrial revolution like the workers rights and all this stuff yeah. it's such an important time in american history yeah and i think they do a really good job of balancing all of these things and giving them like equal time it doesn't yeah. feel like one um one movement or one like thing yeah, no, no, no. like takes you, over you feel the impact that it had on society and how it's intertwined exactly because these things are all intertwined yeah um so it's really good. It's really good. You should watch it. Their action. Oh. Yes. yes. A lot. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's intense, dude. It's it's what, what if if you could like is it like Peaky Blinders or is it like what 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 type of feel is it? It's like Peaky Blinders meets Sopranos. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, it's definitely yeah. uh it's definitely the spiritual uh is it, does se- it focus prequel on, on beef to Sopranos. Yeah. yeah. Mainly, but not just him. Yeah. There's so many other characters that are that you could equally say are like the main character. Okay. Um, it doesn't just focus like like Sopranos. It's you know it's about Tony. Tony, yeah. Um, this you can say yes, it's about Beave, yeah. but it's it's just as much about him as it is about the Everyone characters else. around yeah. him. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and there's also like so he's kind of like the boss of where he is, mm-hmm. but he's also working with people in New York. Yeah. So that's another like whole other yeah. side to the like yeah the they just story they, and the characters. They just introduced uh, uh, some of the Italians from New York in the sh- in like season three. Yeah. And uh, I, yeah, New York, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, so yeah, it's it's very much like a prequel to The Sopranos. Mm-hmm. Things are heating up. Uh, 
Could it act? Well, not. Could it could be, yeah. and a lot of people say it is, except a lot of the actors that uh, were in Sopranos, Sopranos are, in are playing characters in. Yeah, could it, be. Exactly. But like, is, it, like unofficially, unofficially, I would say it's yeah. fair to say it's a prequel. Yeah. To mm-hmm. Sopranos. Yeah. I because, know there's I know there's just a lot of like lore with the Sopranos past. So, yeah. Like, yeah. You know. Yeah. Well, there's no character. It, it's not like, oh my god, that's Tony's, yeah. uh, you know, great grandpa. You know, no, nothing it's not like, like that. that. Yeah. Nothing like that. But I mean, like the but, families and. But like, this the, is the, the, the this mafia. is so like the board like Boardwalk Empire. Yeah. This is the New Jersey Boardwalk. So mm-hmm. it's like where fucking where Tony has where his, Tony yeah. has all of his nightmares where he goes when he was a kid growing up on the boardwalk. Yeah. That is where this place is. So yeah. this is the story of that boardwalk getting established. Mm-hmm. So all of the hotels, the casinos, the boutiques, the restaurants getting established and making that place prominent on the map enough for them to build roads from New York to mm-hmm. this town. Mm-hmm. So this place didn't even have roads. Yeah. yeah. This it's is when crazy. people they had like, it, it's like Model T's would would drive through dirt yeah. patches yeah. and the wheels would fall apart and yeah. like it was a nightmare. It's about so. the it's pretty much about the it's also like the people that built this city. Yeah, because yeah. it's not like a lot. I, I feel like a lot of people kind of forget us included. It's like you forget. No, no, no. Like America wasn't just like didn't just pop up like these big cities didn't just pop up these italians like, but these but like there it was just like a guy like it wasn't was the like, government said we're gonna no, build yeah, a city a, here exactly like it wasn't the it government. was business owners the people and the, the immigrants yeah, yeah exactly yeah. exactly mm-hmm. exactly yeah. so it's they it, established they, these new communities and made their own economies mm-hmm. and made their own social businesses net, like, and yeah, yeah exactly so so it starts with like one guy or one family and then like more and more people it starts building a community and they start building businesses they start building yeah. you know all this hospitals and exactly. churches and, and then the crime, crime exactly yeah so it's it's wild because it's it's there's a lot of historical events that happen in in this show mm-hmm. that it's like it's I don't know. It's just crazy. It's just mm-hmm. it, it's it's a really it's a really good show. I want to yeah. watch it because I, I see a lot of clips, but not enough for it to be on my timeline all the time. No, yeah, yeah. I, I I would say because because it's been a while since the show was out, mm-hmm. and and honestly, I feel like I feel like even when it was out, I I would hear I people talk see, about it, I like but not it, yeah. not like Sopranos, not like Sopranos. Yeah, it's definitely slept on mm-hmm. yeah. because no one's ever been like, have you watched? Does that feel like the daredevil of the? Mafia. Yeah. Oh, speaking of Daredevil, he's oh, yeah. in it. <laughs> what? Char- Charlie Cox is in he's it. He's one of the main yeah. characters. Oh, he's one of the main cool. characters. Yeah. Yeah. He's a um, little shit. But... He is a little shit. Really? <laughs> yeah. You're gonna love him. He's, he's a troublemaker. Funny. He's a troublemaker. Uh, did you watch Echo? Yes. We did. Yes. Yeah. What'd you think? I liked it. You liked it. I, I liked only watched it. the first episode. No. Finish it. Really? It's really good. Yeah. yeah. It's really yeah. good. It's really good. Is the action like? It's not a ton, but it's good. Yeah. It's because the Daredevil fight was fucking cool. As shit. That was cool. That yeah, was yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't want to ruin anything. Uh, uh, it's good. Uh, uh, yeah. It's good. I'll Finish it. Yeah I, yeah, I think you'll like it. You will. You will. It's 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 its own story. Yeah. It's its own story, and the way that they highlight like the Native American culture mm-hmm. uh, within this story. I think it's beautiful. Yeah. It's they actually beautiful. like worked with a tribe yeah. to really? make things like accurate as possible yeah. and and like the vo- like the voice of the people that it's about. Yeah. Right. So I think that really added something very special to it. it it's a it that's what makes the show so good and so unique. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because they have there there isn't a story like that. Yeah. yeah. And All right. it's no, it's it's worth it. It's worth I it. I just I just saw that it just feels re- the show feels different. The show feels good, you know? Yeah. It doesn't feel like... It's a very different show. show. Like, it's a yeah. very different show Mature, than what we're used yeah. to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. From Marvel. And I, I do think that Disney kind of overplayed the... the This is the most adult show we've ever... Like, I, it's, yeah, it that's wasn't... That's <laughs> way overplayed because yeah. it's yeah. not like they're slitting throats and like all this it's crazy shit. shooting sh- people in the head. It's just violent. Yeah. You know, it's just they're fighting and there's people are being shot. Yeah. But it's not like the Daredevil show, mm-hmm. you know, like... 
Yeah. That's no, dark. That shit's brutal. Yeah, That's yeah. brutal. Mm-hmm. You know, it's still good. It's still darker mm-hmm. than what we've had. But, but like, even I remember even the ads that they were playing. Like, this is only for mature dun, viewers. Dun, 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 yeah. Viewer dun, dun, discretion advised. And then they played the fucking echo trailer. Yeah. And it's like nothing happened. You just <laughs> got like punched in the throat. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Some guy yeah. got shot in the head yeah. or some shit. Yeah. I, that that is funny to me, but mm-hmm. but the show is good. I mean, it's yeah, it's yeah. not Frozen, but mm-hmm. yeah, it's not <laughs> necessarily like yeah. the mas- super graphic. The masterpiece that I watch a lot is uh, Malcolm in the Middle. Oh, oh my, my god. god, really? Yes, on like on repeat. You're not the boss I, of me now. I, I've, I've been like the watching the show. I'm not done yet, but okay. I fucking love it, dude. <laughs> yeah. Like it's, it's. Were you good. even alive when that show was? No, out? Chuck. No. 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 When did it end? No. I don't know when like, it ended, but I know. That was probably like 90s, 99 yeah. to... But I fucking love the show, dude. Like, it's so... <laughs> I, I, like, the writing's amazing. The whole yeah. cast is good. Like, dude, it's... kids' shows back then yeah. are better than, like, adult shows now. <laughs> yeah. I don't even... Is it a kid's show? It yeah. Pretty much, yeah. It was on they Nickel... They cuss and Nick. shit? They, like, they don't give a fuck. I'm pretty sure it was... I mean, not maybe it was Nick at night. But maybe yeah, it was like, Nick at night. Nick at night. But it's I still, think, yeah. yeah, it was like, it's still a kid's show. Mm-hmm. I think it was like a teen's show. We yeah, watched yeah. it. Maybe we weren't supposed to, but we all It was like a it. Disney channel. I'm tra- watching it now, and I'm like, they're cussing and stuff. And I'm like, hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. It was, it I was mean, good. shit was a little, like, way more lenient back yeah. then, too. Like, we weren't fucking a bunch of pussies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we could take, like, a, a, a bit of, you know. They're saying jackass, and I'm like, like what? 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 Call what? the FCC. <laughs> Um, I'm not upset and just like, why is it? What the fuck? Like, I'm like, just like, hey, I'm surprised. I didn't yeah. know they did Children this. are watching yeah. this. What Come on. Should be on I, feel like, I feel like a white mom. I'm like, yeah. oh my God. I'm calling the manager of yeah. the TV studio. <laughs> this is Malcolm. <laughs> Jeez. It's a bad influence on my kids. Yeah. Uh, that, show is, that show, I don't think it's slept on, but it's fucking amazing. It's no, we'll have to watch it again. We, yeah, I haven't seen should, it in a long honestly. time. You guys it's should. It's so funny. And I don't think I watched every episode brian cranston is so fucking funny it's yeah. the dad right? yeah, yeah it's the dad yeah because he plays like a little like like a little pansy yeah because the, yeah. the wife's the the like yeah the angry one and he's like oh, honey, honey yeah he's the calm <laughs> one yeah, yeah yeah it's so funny uh no I, I i do i do miss that show we should watch it yeah mm-hmm. and what's funny too is the other day uh you were watching what freaks and geeks yeah I fucking love that show, dude. Yeah, I've, I, I, I already finished it, but it's it's such a good show. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's not that long. No, it's like, that's what I hate. It got canceled, mm. and it had the best cast. Such it was a good, such cast. a good show, dude. Yeah. Everyone in that cast became somebody. Yeah, big. Yeah, yeah. It's good, yeah. man. It's good. Fucking J- James Franco, fucking Seth Rogen. Like it was the perfect yeah. cast, dude. It was. It was. It was Rip. A great cast. Oh my god, but but yeah, we've just been just been watching our shows, <laughs> working on our work and yeah. stuff. Yeah, but uh, we got a fun fun year planned. Yes, we got a lot of stuff. I'm really to look excited. Forward to. Uh, and um, you we'll know, we're excited. We're we'll excited. Have more stories once we go to cons. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Story time. Well, that that's when we have the most mm-hmm. stories is when we go yeah. to cons. Yeah. Um, but. We'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, I think we are pretty much out of time. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much, everybody, for being here, for watching, for listening. Thank you. Uh, please don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe. That helps us a ton. Uh, and also make sure to send, if you want to send us any feedback or, uh, you know, you have questions for us or submissions for the show, um, go ahead and uh, send those to punchitchewypodcast at gmail.com. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for being here. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.